thanks for clicking on my video. Today I am making a craft and it is called God's Eyes. These are the two colors that I am using. And you take the end. Now, what is that? My wooden dowel. Okay. You take two wooden dowels, center it, then you wrap it, wrap it around a few times, you spread them out, and wrap them around go in the same direction how I found out how to do these is by YouTube and that's how I learned how to do them So you're holding the center to keep it still or? Yes, trying to. But you just keep going around in the same direction. And make sure your string is tight because if you have it loose, it tends to fall apart real easy. And sometimes your sticks don't come out all even. Just don't worry about it. Can you move the sticks once you've got them wrapped? No. Nope. Because the further you go out, the more messed up you get your yarn. So does this craft help you? Yes, it helps me cope with my depression, my anxiety, keeps my mind off things as I deal with mental health issues as it is. I learned how to do this craft when I lived in Nebraska my first time in it back in 2018. And a lady showed me how to do it and then I went through a mental health spree that I wasn't stable so I reached out for help and then when I came back to be with my family I ended up YouTubing it can you show and that's what it looks like so far um, I ended up YouTubing it and you can also do them with popsicle sticks but I find it more difficult because I can't pick up on that one and I've only really tried doing it with these so for you the dowel rods work better yes but as as you can tell now I have it knotted up so now I have to take it out of the knot right there's the God's eye it's looking really cool and this is another one that has been completed really neat 
Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter which way you turn them. They still basically look the same. So neat. This one is set to hang just like this. This one is kind of a little wonky, but you know what? Nothing is perfect in this world. And I'm okay with that. That God's eye turned out really good. Because the God's eye is actually right there in the center. And it's really neat. You can actually kind of see it. You don't have to go all the way to the end if you want some of your wood to show. I just do it till I can't go anymore. So show us how you're gonna tie the white in. I just take these two tie them like you would normally do it so you tie a basic knot yeah cut that off and off off of this right here mm -hmm. make sure it stays in the back when you go around with the white okay And of course, keep the string the yarn tight. Yes. This is going to be my border to make it stand out more. I have all kinds of yarn, so I could, I didn't want to make one real funky like. <laughs> I've been trying try to do this craft for a while, but then I got tied up with having carpal tunnel and everything, so I more or less took a break in doing these. There was a time that I made 12 of these in one day. That's a lot. And I was regretting it afterwards. Do you think that could have contributed to your carpal tunnel? It probably could have, but I had already had it developed. It just irritated it more. Plus I had tendonitis on top of it. Okay. Can we see? That is looking so nice and that white just really pops. Just remember what direction you're going. Oh, that would be a nightmare, wouldn't it? It just don't turn out right. You have all kinds of... If you go... Um, one way it just messes up the yarn. I had taught a nine-year-old girl how to do this and when I was in a shelter and every day she would come to me saying can we make God's eyes? Can we make God's eyes? Can we make God's eyes? And you can also make pom-poms to put on the ends and um, I just haven't gotten that creative. And I don't, I don't know how to really do them. 
of shaping them and everything. Well, it looks like you're about to the end of it. Yep. I can probably tie it off from here. Okay, so you cut the line. Yeah, you cut the line. I take it about two, two strings, then go around probably about a couple times. Then you grab a hold of the center one, pull it out some. And then loop it behind. And then you'll end up with that. And then you basically tie it again. And cut your excess of string off. And there you got a god's eye. Nice. And please be sure to cl click on the video and subscribe down below and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you. Bye.